And welcome back to this Monday night. If you donate blood or have thought about it, now is a good time to do it because supplies are low. The Red Cross and Vitalant have been reaching out to donors, mostly through cell phones, asking for donations. Tonight, Valley News Team's Mike Morgan looks back at a story he covered that underscores the importance of donating the gift of life. It's been almost two and a half years since I first met this young boy from Stanley, North Dakota. He was in town for a regularly scheduled appointment at Sanford. We did a story on him back then, and after I share it with you, I'm going to give you an update on how he's doing. Ooh, ouch. They say you can't okay, teach that. an old dog new tricks. I'm not sure if you know what a Yoshi is. From his hospital bed at Sanford in Fargo, Lawson so Nelson did his Jump best to school me on this video game. Is it like a little dragon or something? Yeah, it's a dinosaur. There was some success. A is fly? A. Okay, so here we go. All right, this is going to be the biggest one. I did it. Lawson has been a frequent visitor to the hospital since being diagnosed with leukemia okay, in this, August. This He's like any eight year old. Ask him about his ongoing battle, he shrugs his shoulders. Yeah, He's yeah, much more interested in gaming. So press X to get it back. Wait, oh, you did it. A variety of blood products have been used during Lawson's treatment. They let you sit and eat for 15 minutes afterwards. People like Tony Dahl play a huge role in providing blood to those in need. Why not? Really? I got blood. You need blood. Win-win. Tony has rolled up his sleeves every six to eight weeks since he was in high school. My veins are tricky. So rarely do they ever get me on the first stick. He knows all too well what donating can do, from its impact on his father's recovery years ago. One day just low and out, next day up and at him and happy. The only thing they did is give him a pint of blood. To his newborn son, who spent the first days of his life in NICU. Well, he has had a few donations and a couple, um, what do they call them, uh, transfusions. Um, unfortunately for me, they take O negative and I'm O positive, so just something they do with babies. Yeah. Tony recently reached the 100 pint mark. That's close to 12 gallons. Oh, they put a little diamond next to it. Yep. He has his sights set on 200, possibly 300 pints, which would get his name on a board recognizing elite donors. It's a small matter. I got a ways to go, but I'm going to be here for a while. So they're just going to have to put up with me for another 100 donations. Our donors come back the most and are the most um, willing to come back again and again, and if they are called upon, they will be here. Ooh. One in seven people entering the hospital will need blood. In our region, 250 donors are needed every day to meet the demand among almost 70 area hospitals. For people like Tony Dahl, giving is easy. It's the vast majority who don't but could that need to be convinced. Try this. Could you say no if it were a cute kid? battling leukemia? It's got to be tough to go through that at a young age. So um, I'm lucky enough to be able to help him out. Lawson is still traveling five hours one way every 28 days and donated blood is still crucial for him to get better. He just had another infusion last week in Fargo and the good news comes from his mom who tells me that he has five more months of treatments if all goes well. I should also point out that he enjoys the outdoors far more than gaming, and as you can see, he's a pretty good horseback rider. He's also good at fishing. Lawson pulled those wonderful walleye from Devil's Lake. Now, if you're interested in giving blood, but you're having questions about eligibility, I have a phone number for you. Call toll-free 1-800-289-4923. Back to you. I can't think of anything more convincing to make you want to give blood. What an amazing kiddo. Yes. Wow. Wonderful story as well. Okay, we have that phone number and much more information all on our website, valleynewslive.com. All you have to do is click on this story. All right, uh, 